Hi guys, here I am again, born figuring it out. If you like me, please subscribe. Anyway, I thought I'd do a get ready with me. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I am a typical lady of a certain age who has discovered to her horror that all the years of neglect are now clearly traced on her face and is trying to um, mitigate some of that. So I do lots of lotions and potions and things like that, but the makeup is what it comes down to. Let's be fair, ladies. I mean, the creams, they're great. They can help. They can do lots of things to make us feel better, but it's the look. So um, here I am. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to chat to you while I'm doing it. And this may be rubbish and never see the light of day. <laughs> okay, so um, I have oily skin. I've always had oily skin. I don't know why. When I've gone through menopause, I still have oily bloody skin so makeup just slides off so I'm on a constant constant hunt for primers and setting sprays and all that sort of stuff and I still to this day haven't found one that really does the job but I do watch someone called um I think it's Robert Welsh um, you know the Welsh twins <laughs> uh, Robert and James I think it is anyway he suggested for oily skin people to put some setting spray on before you put your foundation to try and help it cling. So, I'm gonna use a setting spray. I'm using the Morphe one at the moment. It was the first one I ever bought. <laughs> and it seems to be okay. So I'm sticking with it for the time being. Um, so I'll give that a good spray on. And again, wait for it to set. I'll get some of my array of stuff out. I think today I am gonna have a bash of the um, Bourjois 123 Perfect. Put that in front of my face, you might can see it better. Um, I've got a little NARS. What else will I do? Because I don't really want to do a lot today. Oh, my powder at the moment, powder of choice, is Lil Palm Loose Powder. Is that dry? Am I dry? Yes, I'm dry. Okay, now, there's this huge debate, isn't there? Brush, sponge, fingers, who knows? To be fair, on a day like today, when I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not really doing anything that spectacular, I'm going to use my hand. Um, I like to use my fingers. I think it works in on the skin way better. So this is just one pump. I try not to use too much. I used to really layer it on. It was an awful thing. When I think about it now, I used to put so much foundation on trying to... I wasn't trying to enhance my skin. I was trying to hide my skin, which is just, you know, and you're not supposed to do that now, and I try not, not to, because I'm so wrinkly and crinkly that if I put too much on, I start creasing all over the place. I'd look so much more professional, wouldn't I, if I was sitting here now going, dip, 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 dip. but I'm just going to keep it real. I'm going to use a tiny little bit more around my nose, which is my big problem area, aside from the fact that it's big. Um, it's the oiliest bit, but I also get very red around here. It can get really sore. Uh, I'm always using different creams and lotions to try and, you know. So there we go. That's a basic. See, this is me. This is me being lazy. It's a lazy makeup tutorial. Tutorial? <laughs> Who am I? Oh, by the way, I have put sun cream on. Um, I put that on, gosh, about two hours ago. So I probably... Oh, I bet they'd say I should put more sun cream on. We won't worry about it, will we? As for concealer, I love the idea of a concealer. I love the idea of a concealer that can hide everything, that can make my face look great. Sorry, my dogs are going nuts. I think the, someone's out in the garden and my dogs are having a shout. Um, I love the idea of a concealer. I have yet to find one that will hide all this that's going on without actually making it look worse. So for the time being, I am doing the good old, let's ignore it. So as I say, on with my long palm powder. <laughs> if any of you out there have found concealers, foundations, whatever, that work for those of us with mature, wrinkly, baggy skin, but is still oily, I would love to hear. 
I watch a lot of um, James Welsh, as I've said. I watch a lot of Wen Goss. He's brilliant. I think he's absolutely brilliant. You should check him out if you haven't already. I expect you already have. I mean, probably everybody knows. But he does do quite a lot of information for ladies of a certain age. Um, there are lots of, you know, amazing um, YouTube makeup artists, makeup tutorials and things like that. And I do enjoy them. I watch them. But the colours they use, I mean, really, <laughs> you've got to be young. There's so many that gear to young. So finding someone who'll do older, um, is, it's harder to find. If that all just moved and I'm now in a slightly different position, my cam fell over. Typical me. Banged it with my knee and brought it down. So anyway, I got this little NARS in a, it was a Christmas stocking from my husband. Um, and it has in it a blush which i believe is orgasm and a bronzer and when i first saw that bronzer i was like you must be out of your mind it is so dark but actually it's fab on and i've become a little bit of a convert to the old bronzing trick to giving myself a little bit of because i have quite a round face um so I've, i'm quite i've been quite converted to the whole you know doing the figure three <laughs> the figure three down your face but I do think it works, to be fair. I do think it works. I do get it wrong. I get really heavy handed with the bloody stuff and it ends up all over the shop and I look like Coco the Clown. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna, you know, this is all a part of figuring it out, um, which you know is my channel name. So that is probably that. Just to give myself a bit of something, something there. And then I go straight in with the orgasm. Straight in with the orgasm. Chance would be a fine thing. Come on, let's be fair at our age. Oh, even if the flesh is willing, usually the husband isn't. Um, and then I just colour in my cheeks a little bit. Because my cheeks are quite prominent. You know, I've got a really mobile face. So I really have to give it a little bit of help. Um, so there we go. Can you see? But I look shocking. Look at these eyes. I don't know what to do. I've tried so many creams and lotions and potions and eye patch, you know, the, the eye under eye things. I mean, I love them. They're really nice. They feel nice. But I can't say that they do that much for me. So now, contrary to a lot of people, I go straight in with a lip colour because I cannot stand myself without any lip on. I think maybe... Yeah, maybe it's being, you know, I was a sort of teenager in the 80s. So lips were a big thing. And these days, let me just look over here. These days, lips are almost like, you know, who bothers? Uh, everyone seems to wear these lip glosses. They don't really give themselves much of a lip. Uh, again, I should be using, what do they call it? A lip liner. I was going out for the day I'd probably put a lot more effort in but this is just a lazy chatty this is what I do on an off day uh, I got this sort of it's a cross between what would I say that is it's like a tinted salve I'm gonna see it as a nice little sweeper color and a bit of gloss and it's sort of oily it's this by oh god can I read that do you know it just says be kinder oh it's by K-N-D-R? I have no idea. It came in a subscription box. And when I first saw it, because look at the colour. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God. But it works really well and I use it as a topper. Um, so, the lip. Another thing I do, I don't really bother with my brows much on an off day. I mean, they're reasonable. I could spend some time fussing over them. Life is too short. And I also cheat and I use my bronzer as an eyeshadow I've got a few that I use but this one I really like where's the brush that I usually use for it mm. uh, yeah this one this one I'll do this is just I would like to say oh this is a senso senso I don't know this is a pink one that I think I bought at Boots I think I bought it at Boots I quite like the fact that can you see it's got a funny shape to it sort of flat on the one side and grooved on it so anyway it's what I use, just to pick up an actual 
mirror mirror here um and i just give my eyes a bit of a dark brown or golden brown what would you call that color i don't know and I know I'm supposed to graduate it here and graduate it there and, you know, fluffle it the other way and find my cup crease and all of that doesn't work for me. I do try and I, I will do, I'll do a get ready with me when I am going somewhere one day and I'll show you how I try to do these things. In fact, an idea for some videos might be if I follow along with some tutorials. Um, of some of the people that I really admire and, and, and respect and see if I can improve my skills. But at the moment, this is just what I do. I find if I don't put anything on my eyes, they look a bit pale compared to the rest of my face. So um, I find that this is just a nice way to sort of give them, not, I was gonna say definition, eyes don't really need different definition, do they? But you know, so can you see? Just a little bit of something, something actually need a little bit more on that one I think I don't know whether you're supposed to use bronzer on eyelids probably not but I do and then I get my this one will do this is a little oh this is a Bobbi Brown this one is an eyeliner I won't use that one um, okay this one is a no idea I'll just get a touch of the pink just to warm it up um, it does make sense to me to sort of stay with the colours that I've got on my cheeks but just amp it up a little bit just a little bit so I'm not completely so it just gives a tiny tiny bit of a sheen you wouldn't really know I'd done it and then I get a big fluffy brush like that one which is Says it's an eye smudge. Oh, if that's a Bobby Brown. I did you know I've got a feeling these aren't real Bobby Browns. I think one or two of them are that I've actually bought from Bobby Brown, you know, from the concession stand. I think I got these online on eBay or something. I don't think they are. A whole load of them I threw away. So it could be a genuine Bobby Brown smudge brush. It might not be. And then I just sort of give it a good old rub and try to graduate the colour a little bit. Is that working? Yeah. Uh, and just bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I wish I was one of these women that could say to you, oh, do this, do that, and you'll look amazing, and, and they do. I mean, God, there are some makeup artists on YouTube, aren't there? You know, just this top has gone really limp, but my grandson's like to haul at me, and it's gone limp, and it just won't come back. So, complete nuisance, because I do like it. Although I wore this one day with a pair of um, flowery sort of croppy trousers back when I weighed a lot more than I do now. And uh, my daughter from London had come up to visit and I wandered into the room feeling quite sort of funky and, and modern and all that. And she said to me, oh, cute pyjamas. There were pyjamas. <laughs> I never wore them like that again. I sort of feel like I should define my eyes a little bit more, but you know, I'm not going to. This is a lazy day. Now, this is my latest mascara, and I think I love it. This is by Trish McAvoy, and it's a tubing mascara. I've always had problems, because I've got very hooded eyes, with getting the black all up here. During the day, my oily skin, my oily eyelids would start to break down the mascara and every time my eyelashes touched up here, it would leave marks. Also, it would sort of dribble down here as well. It was awful, 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 awful. And I, you know, I am on a, a mission to find a good mascara that doesn't do that. And this is the first one so far <laughs> that doesn't do it. So this is the Trish McAvoy tubing mascara. I don't think it's called, oh, high volume, high volume, but it's tubing. So I'm gonna try lots and lots of mascaras over a period of time because that I, I really think that mascara can really open your eyes up, make your eyes look prettier and fresher and more awake, but not if they're gonna leave black stuff everywhere. And that's what most mascaras do to me. Um, I put them on, they look amazing, the lashes look fabulous, and then half an hour later I realise that I'm also wearing it up here, I'm also wearing it down here, and it defeats the purpose. You just end up looking like a clown. So, but it's not cheap. Um, so I'll just put 
a little bitty 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 bit. I'd love to have longer eyelashes. I'm so tempted to go and have lash extensions. I had them done once before, not very well. I think the lady that did it wasn't, I mean, she was selling the service. Uh, that's all I can say really. But I mean, I, they felt so heavy and they were so ridiculously long and they sort of irritated all in the corner of my eye. I mean, they just weren't graduated enough. They weren't, you know, they were awful, frankly. <laughs> they were awful. So I'm here. Oh. What on earth is going on there? Well, I must have got a bit of fluff down in there at some point. Do you find that? Do you end up with hairs in your mascara and you don't know how you did it? Um, I tend these days not to do my bottom lashes very much. I'd like to. But again, I have such sparse lashes. Can you see what I'm doing? I've just realised that I'm so busy looking in the mirror, you can't really see what I'm doing. I bet this is absolute rubbish and I this won't ever be seen on YouTube. But I thought I'd have a go. I'd have a go at my first get ready with me. I'm wondering whether I should put some on the lower lashes. Mm. Go on, let's have a try. So. I have such sparse lower lashes, it's pathetic. Um, there. I'll put another coat of mascara on in a minute, so I'll give it a chance to sort of set a bit. I don't know if it takes that long to set mascara, but oh, look at me. Black all over my hands. <laughs> like I say, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm not a beautician. I am a 52-year-old woman trying to hold back the ravages of time. <laughs> Um, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not upset at the way it looks. So, I feel like I could face the postman or pop to the corner shop or, you know, um, just put another coat on and then I'll probably be done. So it's not very interesting, is it? It's not exactly a riveting video. But I might stick it up anyway. This must be other women, just like me, trying frantically to look the best they can with minimum skills. There we go. Yep, that's as good as that's gonna get. So, that was my first, oh, let's put the fringe back down. Put the fringe back down. Oh, look at it now, it's fluffy. Fluffy, it's a fluffy fringe. Put the fringe back down. Quick brush through, because it's not playing now. It's upset with me for doing that. There we go. I'm loving a fringe. It's hiding the massive wrinkles on my forehead, so. I only cut it in during quarantine. It was a quarantine moment of madness to cut a fringe in because I realised just how bad my forehead wrinkles were and I knew there was no chance of Botox or anything interesting. So I just took the scissors to it. There'll be hairdressers up and down the land going, oh my God. Oh, I forgot to finish with some more setting spray. Ooh. Set my fringe as well. <laughs> And we'll see how well it lasts. Um, it's not the strongest makeup look. Let's be tidy. <laughs> that's a very Welsh thing to say. So that's it. That's what I do. That's what I do to try and make myself look reasonable. Stick some earrings in as well while I'm here. So what have you got planned for today? I'm probably gonna go out and face my garden. A bit scared about that. I'm not a very good gardener. I'd like to be a good gardener. But, oh, see now, the longer I sit here, the more I'm going to mess with myself, so I'm going to call it a day. Anyway, that was it. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. That sounds a bit more like a threat than a promise. But I'm not going to give up. So I'll see you again. <laughs> Bye.